to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this equipment. Hot glue extruded from a glue gun is used extensively for model and craft building. Before using a glue gun, there are several things you need to consider in preparing for hot gluing activities. First of all, inspect the hot glue gun for damage to the gun casing. Check the gun for any cracks in the nozzle or gun. Assure the on-off switch, if equipped, is functioning properly and inspect the electrical cord and plug for fraying or other damage. Secondly, be sure there is no old glue clogging the nozzle. If the hot glue gun fails your inspection, inform your teacher and remove it from use. Now that you know the glue gun is safe to use, you need to ensure your workstation is safe. Choose a work area near a power outlet so that you don't need an extension cord. All surfaces in your workspace should be made up of or covered with non-flammable material. Be sure the workstation, including the floor area, is clean and clear of any tripping hazards. Use a wire or metal safety stand to hold the hot glue gun when you are not using it to glue items. Never lay a hot glue gun on its side. Make sure no one is going to get tangled in the electrical cord and pull it off the table. Place non-flammable material under the safety stand to prevent damage to the underlying table surface. Place tinfoil under the nozzle to catch glue drops. Finally, make sure you are working in a well-ventilated area. Personal protection is extremely important when working with small electrical appliances, like glue guns. To avoid any injuries, tie back any long hair while working with hot glue guns. Wear safety goggles or glasses to protect against eye injuries. Wear a surgical or dust mask over your nose and mouth if you are using industrial types of glue that gives off fumes. Be aware of the hazards of chemicals that you may use in the shop. Your teacher will describe the material safety data sheet or MSDS system and how to look up any potential hazards you may come across. It should go without saying that if you are unsure of using any equipment or procedure, don't hesitate to ask your teacher for help. That's what they're there for. Make sure surfaces to be bonded are clean, dry, and free from loose particles or dust. When you are ready to begin, load the glue gun with glue sticks that are recommended for your particular glue gun. Don't pull glue sticks out from the glue gun once glue has begun to melt. Keep feeding glue through the gun before inserting a new stick in behind it. The glue gun will take about five minutes to heat up to operating temperature to melt the glue stick. As you work, do not touch the nozzle and avoid skin contact with hot glue. Never point a hot glue gun nozzle at another person. Keep in mind while you work to not tilt a hot glue gun nozzle upwards or attempt to use a hot glue gun to glue overhead items. Turn the work around instead. Light pressure should be applied to the trigger until droplets of hot glue begin to flow from the nozzle. Apply glue to one surface only and bring surfaces together immediately to form a bond as the glue returns to room temperature and solidifies. Usually, adjustments can be made within 10 to 15 seconds. The joint should be held together using slight pressure for a further 20 to 30 seconds. The bond is now made but will remain slightly flexible. Keep the nozzle clean to prevent glue building up. Wipe any excess glue away carefully with a thick, dry cloth or wad of newspaper. When you are done your task, unplug the glue gun and allow it to cool. Never leave a plugged-in glue gun unattended. Warn your friends in the area of a possible hot glue gun and always unplug the gun when you are finished with your project or when you need to change the nozzle. If you happen to get skin in contact with hot glue, have someone unplug the glue gun. Treat the contact area like a burn and immediately flush the area with cold water. Have someone notify your teacher. Before storing your glue gun at the end of your task, ensure that it has cooled off as storing a hot glue gun can pose a fire hazard. Put all your materials away and clean up the area to get ready for the next operation. Okay, here's our tool safe review. Do not use the glue gun until you have permission and are trained to use it safely. Check the glue gun and tip before operating and notify your teacher of any problems. Make sure everyone in the area stays clear and is aware of the hot gun. Don't leave it plugged in unattended. They can overheat and have electrical issues. Put the gun away only when fully cool. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.